I'm about to leave London for the airport. I'm here in a park, Fins Finsbury Park, something like that, Plaza, I don't know. London has these nice little uh, green spaces around town. You can get quite loud, a lot of birds. Uh, it's been a great week. I'm really grateful for the opportunity, grateful for Bone Lane and Hovo Johnson. I was recording with them uh, five shows. I just learned, I learned so much behind the scenes of the music industry and performing. It was great to observe and be a part of, and I'm, I'm really thankful for them. It's been a great week. It's one of those, uh, since COVID, I don't know if other people experience this, but say I'm gone for a week. It feels like now I've, I've only been gone for a day. Like I just kind of got here, but also at the same time, it feels like I've been gone a month or more. And I feel like COVID was kind of that, or maybe I just don't remember anything before COVID. I don't know. Uh, but London, London's cool. I, I like London. I feel like it's such a large city that one week, I can't, I, it's still a little fuzzy. It's not quite clear. Uh, kind of the, oh, you can get the vibe, but. Like to summarize it, I feel like I, I can't really summarize it quite yet the way I can uh, New York and other places that I've gone many times. My, my one kind of like big free day was yesterday. The other days we were at the shows and so we would get at the venues there um, in the evening and to be there quite, uh, quite late. London doesn't stay open as late as uh, American cities. Chicago, New York. That's kind of interesting. I thought kind of it being an international city, uh, things would be open all night long. But this city sleeps. It's been interesting. So yesterday, I it was kind of my last open day. I wanted to go to Paris. I'm working on this project with designs and taking photos of designs on building facades. So here in London, there, there's been a lot, but not as much as I know Paris would have. So. A few weeks ago, I, I looked at how much it costs to go to, go to Paris via train from London. And it was like 30 pounds one way. So like 70 pounds round trip. Went to the train station. I was like, oh yeah, and then I'll just buy my tickets when I'm there. And I went to the train station, <laughs> talked to the, the people there, and it would have been like, 368 pounds round trip. So like for another 100 extra dollars, I'd be there for four hours too. So I'd spend like 400 US dollars to be in Paris for four hours. And just the mental gymnastics and headaches and energy expended on that, I was like, nah. So now I'm thinking about going to Paris later. I could spend like a hundred, a hundred more bucks and fly direct from Chicago and stay like a week in Paris over four hours. I was really excited about Paris. Paris has like a, a certain aesthetic. This is my first time in London. The aesthetic in London is very kind of rectangular, kind of elongated, kind of like Disciplined in its designs, very uh, square and 
geometrical, I would say. The, rec the rectangles just stand out to me. The rectangles, long rectangles, things like that. Um, but it's been a great week. Yesterday I went to, I went by the Tower of London, the great the monument of the Great Fire. I went to the National Gallery, saw a Da Vinci painting. I went to the Natural History Museum. I like going to Natural History Museums in different cities to see how like they present, especially dinosaurs. I was only there for a little bit, but I like to go through the dinosaur exhibits, see how they present the fossils and um, how different places, the design of the spaces are different. So the Natural History Museum here in London, what's cool about it is that it, it I don't know this for sure, but it seems to be designed in the Victorian era, like the late 19th century. So it's really, uh, really cool design. And then you also get that in the dinosaur exhibit, that kind of Victorian era. It's really cool. Paris had a, a really cool um, kind of dinosaur exhibit as well, as far as the uniqueness and design. Personally, I feel that the natural history museums in Europe just aren't, they're not like American museums. And a big reason is because we have big dinosaurs out in America. North America is a very rich continent for fossils, dinosaur fossils, in particular out west, like uh, Western United States. Big spaces. Went to the British Library one day. I've been having trouble with Wi-Fi speeds and uploading and file organization a little bit. So I was going to the British Library because I figured they would have faster internet. They did a little bit from where I was staying. And I randomly stumbled upon the Magna Carta. <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty... Pretty cool. I went to this, there is this space, Treasures of the British Library. So I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And right away, I'm confronted with three pages from Da Vinci's notebook. <laughs> I was like, yes. And the original handwritten lyrics to In My Life by the Beatles, Michelle. So there's this treasures area and they have uh, King Henry VIII's Bible and they have original like scores of Mozart and Beethoven and it's all sacred texts and uh, maps and literature and poem by Michelangelo and some good stuff in there for sure that was one of the most pleasant surprises to just go to a random space because you bought faster Wi-Fi and then all of a sudden you stumble upon one of the most significant historical documents in human civilization. That, that kind of summarizes London, I feel like. Um, yeah, cool to go to these really... Every neighborhood is a little different, different architecture, different people, different vibes. The people. I feel like the people of places is influenced a lot by geography. I've probably talked about this before. But... You know, here in Europe, you're right by Africa and Asia. You're all kind of together, whereas Western Hemisphere, the Americas, were kind of isolated. So, you, you know, it influences and impacts um, who lives there. Logistics, 
I've been thinking a lot about logistics on this trip. Logistics from uh, a band perspective of going from one venue to the next, setting up and um, what's needed and what needs to get done and what time, you know, someone goes on, is everything right? And then getting to the venues and the trains and payment systems. It's something I've been very, very curious about. The ability to move people and energy, energy in the sense of money right now, of the quickness back and forth, whether it's selling merch at a music venue, whether it's getting drinks at a bar, whether it's uh, ticketing to get into places. Last night I went to this place. I'm staying in like Shoreditch, Shoreditch right now and or the last uh three nights i went to this mexican street food place and they had it where you there's a qr code they tell you the name of the the table that you're at and you can pay for the bill via just scanning this through apple pay and it was so unique. It was the first time I've ever seen that before that I pulled aside my server and I was like, hey, can you, t- can you share with me like what, what, uh, what company you use, what, what software you use? And it's like quick, quick tip, something like that. And he showed me, he like brought me over to the computer. It was like showing me uh, how it all works. I was, I was really impressed. I thought that was really cool. The ease, the ease of transactions. That's what I'm very curious about. It helps local businesses, small businesses, individuals. I should explore, I should explore this more. I just observe it a lot and make notes. I'll like actually take notes or talk to people about it. Hey, what, I did this in New York too. <laughs> I was asking people what um, POS system they use. I think it's all fascinating. Yeah, but London's been great. So grateful for Bone Lane, the fellas in Bone Lane, Frank, who is Hobo Johnson, I've, I've learned so much on this trip. I'm so excited to uh, take what I've learned and observations I've made and bring it back when I return from London. I can see myself visiting London again, for sure. I know I, know I will. And because of that, I didn't feel too stressed trying to you know, explore and cram everything in. Something I am kind of disappointed in myself about is I didn't do any of the Beatles spots, the Abbey Road and um, like the Jane Asher house and just like different spots around there, uh, the parks where they filmed Rain and uh, I believe Strawberry Fields Forever and next time. I've met so many great people. It's interesting, you you come to place you travel to a place and then when you leave when you return you have more friends it's beautiful it's beautiful and as far as life goes I'm really excited for uh, beautiful possibilities in the near future and moving forward London's been great cheerio